so many things I would want to tell her. She was so stressed out about everything. Dear Jacqueline, sex definitely does not equal love. I want you to wait to have sexual relations until you're at least 18. Yeah, advice I would give to my younger self would be to not use sex as the sole barometer for how well a relationship is going, because I think you can definitely have very good sex with very bad people. Make sure you pee before and after sex, because otherwise you get UTIs, and UTIs are awful. Always, always, always use protection. Masturbate, watch porn. Value yourself enough to know that what you want takes priority over what everybody thinks. Because when I was 17, all I felt was like, why don't I have a boyfriend? What if I do it with the wrong person or I'm not in a relationship? Why have I not had sex yet? Am I not attractive? It almost felt like I wasn't, hadn't been chosen, which was a sort of a strange thing. I should have just held out for somebody more worthwhile. I just wish I could have been a little more calm and not as felt as embarrassed. I wanted it to be with a person who knew what we were getting ourselves into. <laughs> Your intuition is telling you something. If you want to have sex with women, have sex with women, and that's okay. Don't worry like that you're different because everybody has their thing that's different. Don't freak out. You should not take peer pressure from anyone because it's your body, your feelings, your heart, and sex makes babies. I used to think that sex was linked to my self-worth. Love yourself for who you are, be strong in who you are. I don't know how much of me feeling like people weren't attracted to me growing up actually had anything to do with my size, or if it had to do with me projecting this idea of like, this guy could not be flirting with me, like I look the way that I look. There will be people, men and women, I didn't know at the time, who are gonna be so thrilled and excited to be with you, and it's a gift. Maybe it's true that some guys didn't like me because I was plus size, but I think that the fact that I had so little confidence in myself, like I had sort of closed myself off to opportunity. Don't worry about a little extra here or here. He's so lucky to have a chance to boink you. Sex is one of those things where people put the stigma on it depending on like your religious belief, your family belief. Women that hold on to their virginity for longer are kind of considered prude, but if you lose your virginity too young, then you're considered kind of a slut. And so it's, you have to walk that fine line. However you want to approach it, that is completely up to you and that is valid. But I say, you know, screw the line, whatever. Because here's the thing, you are always gonna remember that person and that time. And so if those are two things you are gonna remember for the rest of your life, make sure you're gonna like that memory. I went to a Church of Christ school and my sexuality was never my own. It was always God's, it was always my father's, it was always someone else fell in the blank. And if I could say anything to any young girl who picks up this book, who is maybe from that background, I cannot stress enough that your body and your sexuality is yours to do with it what you will. Because you are the creator, the ruler, and the decider, ultimately, of what happens to your body. 